What uh, we have had uh, in the third quarter has been a solid growth in the U.S. GDP uh, at about 2.5 percent. And this uh, number compares very favorably vis-a-vis uh, -vis the previous performance of the U.S. economy in the second quarter of this year was 1.2-1.3 percent uh, uh, roughly and uh, much lower than 0.4 percent in the first quarter of the year. So we are seeing you know, a path of gradual improvement. Um, however, uh, it is a, a growth that uh, is not generating enough jobs as it should and the unemployment rate uh, uh, is still uh, almost constant, 9.1%. Uh, nine uh, 9 and of course, this is uh, a drawback in terms of um, um, consumer confidence, which in fact uh, sank to a two-year low uh, with only 13% of Americans saying that they are satisfied about things, how things are going. And clearly, this is really the most crucial point in this uh, uh, still fragile recovery of the U.S. economy, uh, despite uh, you know improving data in the, um, in terms of the uh, recovery itself, uh, there is uh, you know a big issue with uh, uh, consumer confidence. And unfortunately, until this uh, issue is really managed, we uh, could not really expect a major rebound uh, in uh, um, uh, in growth. What uh, we are seeing at the regional level in the United States economy is a very um, kind of scattered picture that in a way uh, really reflects uh, the uh, mixed fortunes of the various regions of the world. And in fact, uh, in uh, Indianapolis, uh, uh, where there is a hub, an important hub for um, pharmaceutical exports to Europe, uh, we have seen uh, uh, a declining, uh, um, you know, declining growth and job losses over uh, the latest few quarters. Um, in contrast, in Allentown, Pennsylvania, uh, where there is an important hub for um, uh, chemical exports, especially to Latin America, uh, that uh, region uh, has uh, very much, you know, ben benefited from strong demand growth uh, from from that region. And likewise, in uh, Silicon Valley, uh, there was a, a very consistent, uh, relatively high um, uh, rate of growth in jobs through the third quarter, reflecting you know, a buoyant demand for IT products, uh, uh, computer uh, and uh, IT-related exports to Asia. The uh, largest uh, source of vulnerability to the U.S. economy comes from abroad, in this case Europe, but also the single most important opportunity for the U.S. economic recovery, uh, not just now but also you know, in the medium term, comes from uh, uh, the buoyant economies uh, in Asia and uh, in the other regions of the world. And therefore this really uh, you know, should uh, uh, focus our attention and the attention of the uh, politicians, uh, um, even local leaders, to um, increase, uh, you know, to step up infrastructures, to foster uh, the growth of uh, uh, those American firms uh, which can better connect with uh, fast-growing foreign markets.